Right, this is grade 2, module 4, lesson 26. We're going to continue using our drawings <clears throat> to get to that standard algorithm of subtraction. What's different this time, uh, in previous lessons, students have been connecting their subtraction problem with the place value charts, but typically what they've been doing is for their hundreds, tens, and ones, um, what they've been doing is they've been using the actual physical chips um, on their desk. They haven't actually been asked to record anything on paper. And so what's going to be different on this lesson is the students are going to be connecting um, the standard algorithm with a, phys um, a drawing on their paper. They are going to record their thought process using the number disks. Uh, they're not going to do the literal number disks where they fill in the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. Instead, they're going to be using um, what we've been doing earlier in earlier videos. They're just going to use dots because depending on the column that the dot is in, that tells you the value. So you don't need to also put it in number form. So let's get started. All right, so this says to solve vertically, and uh, then we're going to record our thinking over here. Now, I don't know if it says, and then, so teachers, you can choose to solve vertically first and then confirm it with your place value chart, or you can do the place value chart and then confirm it with your standard algorithm, or you can kind of do step at a time um, together. Uh, I'll let you decide, or you can read the, the lesson plan on Engage New York to see what, what speaks to you. Uh, you have a lot of flexibility here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to model it first with our number disks. Okay, so we're going to start with modeling 114 in our place value chart. So that means we're going to have 100, 110, and 4 ones. So there's 114. And now we're supposed to subtract 65. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write that down right here. 114 minus 65. And now it says start with those four ones and take away five ones. So do we have enough to take away five ones? No. So what we're going to do is we're going to unbundle this 10 and get 10 ones. So that's going to give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now we have 14 ones. So actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to, I'm going to record what we just did. We unbundled a 10, now we have zero tens, like over here, see? We unbundled it, now we have no tens left over. And instead of having four ones, we now have 14 ones. So instead of having four ones, we have 14 ones. And now it says take away five. So that's pretty easy. We're going to cross off five. One, two, three, four, five. And that leaves us with nine. So that means 14 minus five is 9. Now this says we have 0 tens and take away 6 tens. So 0 tens take away 6. Well, we can't do that. So we're going to unbundle. So we're going to unbundle 100 and we're going to get 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now over here, what is that going to look like? Well, we unbundled a hundred, leaving zero hundreds. See, over here. And then what did that do? That gave us ten tens in the tens column. All right. So you can see that over here. We unbundled a hundred, and that gave us ten in the tens column. So now we can do 10 minus 6. So we're going to take these 10, we're going to cross off 6 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that leaves us with 
4. So that leaves us with 4 in the tens column. 10 take away 6 equals 4. We have nothing in the hundreds anymore, so 0 take away 0 is nothing, so we don't need to put anything there. So our answer is 49, and this is what the paper, our student's paper, should look like. We should see the standard algorithm, and we should see some recorded thinking uh, using um, the number disks. Um, now, it's up to you as the teacher and the parent if you want them to do the standard algorithm first and then the numbers disks or vice versa, or do them in parallel like I just kind of uh, showed you. All right, let's do one more practice. And so I'm going to begin by recording this vertically. 141, whoa, take away 89. There's my 89. And now, actually, I think I can erase this, and then let's make 89. 89. And uh, now, I think what I'll do is I'll model it, but I'm not actually going to do it in parallel. I think we're going to do the, uh, the whole standard, or the whole number disks method first. So let's get this going. 1, 100, 4, tens, and 1, 1. And now it says take away nine ones. So we are going to unbundle one of the tens, and that gives us ten ones. And now take away nine. Now we can take away nine, so that's cross off nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that leaves us with two. And then we have three tens, and we're supposed to take away eight tens. So that means we are going to have to unbundle. We're going to unbundle this hundred, and we're going to get ten tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we can take away eight. So we have thirteen tens. We're going to take away eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so that leaves us with 5 tens. So our answer is 52. So let's model that or record that using the standard algorithm over here. So we have 1, 1, take away 9. We can't do that. So we're going to unbundle a 10, leaving us with 3 tens. And that's going to give us 11 ones all together. Because when we unbundle a 10, we get 10 ones, plus the one that was already there. So we have 11 ones. So 11 minus 9 gives us 2. And now we have 3 tens take away 8 tens. Well, that's not enough to take away 8 tens. 3 tens is not enough to take away 8 tens. So we're going to unbundle this 100, leaving us with 0 hundreds. And we're going to get 10 tens for that, which means instead of having 3 tens, we'll now have 13 tens. So now 13 tens take away 8 tens gives us 5 tens. And then there's nothing in the hundreds, so we're done. So the answer is 52. So teachers, it's up to you, using your professional judgment, to guide your students through whether they do the standard algorithm first or the number disks first or do them in parallel. And the last problem for this video, it says fill in the missing number to complete the number sentence. So we've got this missing number here and we're going to use our place value chart to help, help guide our students through this process. So we're going to start by drawing our place value chart. And now let's model it. We're going to model 123. So 123. All right, so now it says when we subtract our ones place, we need to end up with 9. So we definitely need to do some unbundling here. 
So we're going to unbundle, even though it doesn't say we have to unbundle, we just kind of are going to use logic to understand that, yeah, we're going to have to unbundle if we're going to subtract and end up with 9. And so we are going to cross off that guy and unbundle and get 10 ones. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now using logic, we know that we are supposed to end up with 9 down here, because it says so right here. And we know we're supposed to end up with 6 right here. So we're clearly going to have to do some unbundling. So if we know that we need to end up with 9 here, so let's see, that's 1. Well, let's start up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that means these 4 are going to be what's crossed off. And that's going to give us our 9 left over. So that means this number is going to be our 4. But let's subtract, let's continue just to be sure we're right. So now it says we have 1, but we're supposed to take away 5 tens, and we're going to end up with 6 ones. Well, what are we going to do to do that? Well, we have to unbundle. So we're going to unbundle 100, and that's going to give us 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then the question over here says take away 5 tens. So taking away 5 tens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sure enough, that gives us this 1 up here plus these 5 right here. So there's our 6 tens in the tens column, and then there's nothing in the hundreds column, so our answer is 69. So that tells us that the missing value was a 4, and that's these 4 that we crossed off way over here. All right, that was Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 26, where we're using math drawings, but it's to continue that gradual move to the official standard algorithm.